will take decades. Turkey can act as a crucial source of sport during these troubled times. I called Turkey an island of stability in its region earlier. Well, we all know Germany has proven itself to be an island of stability in Europe, especially during the financial, last financial crisis. Germany's economy is robust, industry growing, and prospects are strong. You must be all proud of that. Germany and Turkey are the two islands of stability in their own region. And cooperation between the two countries can only be mutually beneficial. We know that multiple challenges in the eastern and southern Mediterranean are global ones, and they all require a regional and global solutions. That is the topic of today's speech, a common approach by Turkey and Germany is of huge importance in this context. Turkey has emerged, as most of you know, as one of the more dynamic emerging economies over the last decade. Turkey's first quarter growth rate this year was an amazing 11%. Last year's growth was almost 9%. And I am proud to say the resilience and the dynamism of Turkey signals the potential of a new partnership between Germany and Turkey, a partnership that can be more equal and more balanced than the past. Today, both countries are perceived as successful countries with economies that seem to perform and that can provide examples for others. While we should be proud of our performance, I think history also teaches us that with success comes the danger of overconfidence. So we should be careful about that. Looking at Turkey in the summer of 2011, it is when times are relatively good that difficult reforms should be undertaken for truly sustainable growth that we should be aware of as Turkey. Looking at Germany, the strength of the German economy and the wonderful performance of the German industry in world markets should allow Germany to take a leadership role in building the Europe of 2020. I strongly believe in that, and Germany can do that. Systematic risk has become much more complex in the world economy as interdependence have increased in various ways. Take the example of our neighbor Greece, for example. The Greek GDP is about one half of a percent of the world GDP. It is very small economy in terms of the world GDP or world trade or indeed world financial assets. But yet, if the situation in Greece is not soon resolved, it could become a real threat not only to the European Union, but to the world economy. Various financial derivatives tie Greek debt to the world financial system. Moreover, what happens in Greece can set precedents. Even countries with much lower debt to GDP ratios can become vulnerable. That is why there is a fear of contagion. We have all become much more interdependent than two or three decades ago. That is the reality. While neither Germany nor Turkey is directly threatened, both countries have a strong interest in Greece's recovery. And that's why we are all working on that. Because the European and world economy as a whole could not be threatened, and that would, of course, affect all of us. Turkey, today's Turkey is a crucial partner of Europe. This is also 
just another example of that. While continuing to insist on its European future, Turkey is already in a position to be Europeans, Europe's partner to resolve issues in the Mediterranean and the global energy area. Turkey drives as the only stable country in its own region, while its secular democracy, rapidly growing economy, and civil society that is growing stronger, it can continue to set a good example for its neighborhood. The European Union was founded, yes, European Union was founded on the principles of diversity, peace, and cooperation. When we talk about issues concerning Turkey, or specifically its candidacy, we are talking about Europe's founding principles of cultural diversity, extending the zone of peace, and living together in a harmony. The European Union cannot afford to be a museum. It must be an active player in the domain of international politics. In brief, Turkey and EU need each other. And the EU is Turkey's destiny, I believe. Turkey's accession to EU is not a revolution. It is an evolution, both for Turkey and EU. Governments come and go, but relationships remain. Countries remain, and they can get better if we all work together. Even though the journey is more important than the destination, I never lose my hope that Turkey will eventually become a full-fledged member of EU. One final point that I will make before concluding my remarks is the growing relationship between the civil societies of Europe and Turkey. The number of European civil society organizations with Turkish branches doubled, doubled in the last decade. I'm happy to see what with the representation in Turkey of prestigious German think tanks, such as Frederick Norman Foundation, Konrad Adenauer Foundation, Frederick Ebert Foundation, and Henry Böll Foundation. Germany is a leader in this initiative also in my country. In the light of these positive developments, we are here today to launch another important partnership which, with our German friends, which I'm very proud. The Mercator Foundation and the Sabancı University have decided to launch a strategic and long-term cooperation to be implemented by the Istanbul Policy Center of Sabancı University. The Istanbul Policy Center Sabancı University Stiftung Mercator Initiative will explore and develop German and Turkish perspectives both on Europe and its future and on global issues, as has been said in the beginning. The partnership will focus on the following three core areas. I will be repeating them, but it's important. It's climate change, the uh, climate change, the common German-Turkish approach to the future of Europe and EU-Turkey relations and the education, of course, of the youth. How do Germans and Turks perceive and approach these global challenges? How is it likely to affect economic and energy policies? How will Germany and Turkey approach the issues at the G20 meetings? What can Turks and Germans do together on these issues? How do Germany and Turkey perceive the position of other major actors such as China, United States, when it comes to the climate change, for example? Over the next five years, we will seek the answers for these and 
a lot of other questions. And I am hoping that the Turkey and Germany will start to see each other in a new light, which where we can have new opportunities. We are here to change the mindsets. And I'm strongly believing that the relationship that's going to be built up between Mercator and Istanbul Policy Center will help that. I'm a strong believer, I am strongly believe that we are in a new era, which will give us a great opportunity for common approaches to the global challenges. And I like to take this opportunity that I know that will follow the work of this new enterprise between Mercator and Istanbul Policy Center with great hope and confidence. And I like to thank for those who have contributed for this uh, joint work starting off today. I like to take this opportunity to thank Bernard and take Fuad Bey for their contributions on this already newly signed MOU. Once again, thank you very much to the Mercator Foundation and to their leaders, to its leadership for inviting me and to giving me the opportunity to share with you my thoughts about our two countries. Thank you very much. Thank you for listening.